Tech world, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, in case you're new to the channel. For those who know who I am, hey, welcome back anyways. So today, we're gonna be checking out something by a company called Camroy. And we're gonna be checking out their little mini PC, the E3B. Now, good things can come in small packages. It's not what your girlfriend told me, but we're talking about this little computer right here. And when I say mini, I don't mean a whole lot of them either. I mean mini because it's, well, it's, it's small. Look, it's, I mean, look, it's, I'm barely bigger than my hand. It's a little mini PC. And what you guys are going to really like about this little mini PC at the end of the video is the price. I waited till after Christmas because I just wanted to keep using it and doing things with it to, from a user's point of view. And by the way, this particular video is from a user's point of view. Like I told you guys in another video, I'm not going to run 10,000 tests on a little small computer and waste multiple days on end when it's just a little mini PC that's really, I, you guys are gonna be blown away by the price, honestly, on this little mini PC. So with that said though, let's jump into the video and let's see if this thing's actually worth your money at the end of the day. And I'm gonna say right up front, All right, real quick before we jump in, let's check out a word from today's sponsor. And by the way, this is an old rollover video. I need to make another one. Um, everything that I'm talking about in this particular video says Windows 10, but everything now is Windows 11. So I just wanna correct that before we even jump into the ad. So let's go. Chances are that if you're upgrading a computer with major parts or you're just building a new computer, you're going to need a legitimate Windows key. And VIP Your CD Key Sales has you covered. And right now the prices are lower than ever and it's simple to buy. You simply go over to their website, choose the Windows software that you want to, put it into your cart, and when you're going to the checkout, you're gonna to wanna to enter the code TOT20 and save yourself an additional 25%. Making your Windows key not only completely legit, but also really low price. And after a few minutes, you'll get an email and all of your keys will be inside of your inbox. So it's really simple. So if you wanna save money and you want a key that you know is guaranteed to work forever, then check out VIP Your CD Key Sales. All right, so the call to action. If you like what you see, subscribe and share the video if you think it's pretty cool. Like I said before, this is the Camry Mini PC. Now, they claim that this is a desktop slash gaming PC. Now, even though it does do gaming, it's not quite what you're expecting if you're expecting to go out there and play the latest 3D shooter titles. It's not meant for that kind of gaming. It's a casual gaming computer. So first of all, let's check out the external specs before we jump in and check out the internal specs. So in the front of the mini PC, we have the power button. Then we have the headphone jack. We have two USB 3.0 ports and we also have a USB-C port. Now, on both sides of the little mini PC, you're going to see that there are a bunch of slots, and these are the cooling vents, and on the inside, there's also some copper to help alleviate the heat away from the GPU and CPU. On the bottom of the unit, you can see there's four little rubber feet, and there's also two little screw hole connections, and these are for mounting this little PC to the back of your monitor. Now, there's some positives to this, and there's some negatives to this. On the back of the PC, to the far left, we see the Kensington lock. Once again, across the top, we see more cooling vents, and into the far right, we see the power connection. This is where you plug in the power. Underneath that, we see four more USB 3.0 ports, we see the LAN connection, we see the display port, and a single HDMI connector. With that many video connections, you can actually connect up to three 
four K monitors to this little bad boy. On the top of the PC, if you guys can see, it also has a little note that says, do not try to engage the Wi-Fi or the LAN until you get your computer completely set up. I'm sure that it says that because sometimes trying to download a bunch of crazy things off the internet and stuff can actually slow down the process. So if you just want to get your computer up and going fast, they're saying just kind of wait to do that until you get it all set up. Real quick, let's check out what comes inside the box. As you guys can see, you get the unit itself, you get the backplate adapter plus the screws, the power cable, and the power brick. And last but not least, you get the user's manual. Internally, the E3B features an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 5875U. This features eight cores and 16 threads, and it also features the Zen 3 architecture. From 15 watts TDP up to 28 watts, the CPU has a base clock frequency of two gigahertz, but can be boosted up to 4.5 gigahertz. With DP 1.4B, HDMI 2.0, and Type-C, it supports up to three 4K displays all at the same time. This enables convenient multitasking. The E3B has dual RAM slots and it comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and it's also expandable up to 64 gigabytes with two 32 gigabyte DDR4 32 megahertz chips. The Wi-Fi in this little mini PC is actually pretty robust. It's also equipped with Wi-Fi 6. This desktop computer delivers faster speeds of up to 2,402 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band. This also reduces latency and congestion and will allow you to have multiple windows open at a time without bogging down your system. So check this out, Tech fans. I use this little computer for about a month. And all I can say is that First of all, let me just do the unveil, which is going to blow your mind. Before Christmas, this little bad boy was $400. But right now, I've got a link to Amazon where you can get this bad little boy for $279. That's right. And although this isn't the greatest gaming PC in the world, for any of those people out there who are a lighter casual gamer, like playing things like Diablo 3 or any of the face down gaming type things that are out there, you're gonna be good to go. Plus, if you wanna play anything that's like on online stuff with any Nvidia stuff with all those new type of online games that are in the cloud, you're gonna be doing great with that type of stuff. If you're trying to play the latest 3D games, you know, I don't really know about that. It's not going to really chug it. You're going to be like playing some really low graphics, even though, you know, even though you get a, a Vega, you know, with, with, with apparently like, you know, eight cores and, you know, shared memory, it's just not all that powerful being built in to the little mini PC. You guys know most video cards are really, really big. One thing that's cool though, is it comes pre-installed with Windows 11. And literally within a few minutes, you'll be up and going in the computer. Set up your LAN, your wireless, whatever you've got going on at the house. I had the computer literally up and going and ready to game within a half an hour. So if you're a person out there who doesn't have to have the latest 3D shooter in the world and want to get a computer that costs less than pretty much the cheapest video card out there, it's kind of a no-brainer. The Ryzen 7 may not be the absolute fastest CPU in the world out there, but I had literally like 20 windows opened up in Windows 11 and it really didn't get bogged down. I really only had to restart a couple times when I started installing more and more software and started trying to mess with music stuff and trying to see if I could get my musical stuff connected to it, which, you know, isn't really the absolute easiest thing to do unless you're going to be using USB and a lot of the stuff that we use here is is based off you know Thunderbolt technology so with that said you know I couldn't really do all that much with it but if you have any type of musical stuff that has a USB type connection you'll be good to go and this little computer even though it does only have 512 gigabytes of storage it is upgradable musical stuff really doesn't take a whole, whole lot of processing power. It's really more about 
how well everything works together. Having the biggest CPU will help, but having more memory, really, really important. So the only other thing that that's cool, the mounting it on the back of a computer is also a cool idea, but it's also a pain in the butt because you can't access any of the stuff on the back of it. It's gone there. You got to remove your whole monitor all the way around. And I'm just not really into that. So at the end of the day, I think we have a winner here for $279. It is exactly what it says. It's a mini PC and a mini gaming PC. It's not a giant, great big gaming PC. It's a mini PC, a little small one. So we'll have all the links down below. Like I said, I've been dealing with the people from VIP CD key for a long time. Never had a problem with any of their codes. No one else ever has. Everything is completely guaranteed. We'll have those links down below. There's also links to all the new pain cylinder music. We also have links to our Patreon. So if you happen to be a person who wants to help support the site, you can either buy some music or you can support us through Patreon. And if you want to get one of these little mini PCs before they sell out, I've got those links as well. So we'll see you guys back in the channel for more reviews in 2025.